Hey y'all, this is Jenny. I hope y'all are doing well. So today I'm here with a flip through of these um, six journals that I've been making. Um, they're kind of fall themed, not necessarily. I don't know that I will call them fall journals, but I had gotten this fabric from Hobby Lobby a few weeks ago with these little coffee mugs of different kinds and fall leaves. So, you know, so I mean, you know, it is September. So in my mind, I, I was going to make them fall, but I've, I I kind of wanted to make something that, you know, when you see, you don't necessarily, I mean, obviously these two like this, you think fall, but this one kind of looks more fallish as well. Um, you know, it's been a couple of days since I finished these, so I don't remember, but I'm thinking I probably did put some fall details in this one. <laughs> And of course these two, but my goal was to leave these others kind of to where, you know, you just, you know, I mean, I would use this all year anyway, but some, I feel like some people, you know, if it, if it shows a leaf or something, then you're thinking, okay, that's fall. That's for, you know, you want something more colorful and bright maybe for the springtime. But, I, um, I've just been, I've been needing to make my nieces, um, well, not necessarily, a, necessarily a journal, but. Both of them have had birthdays the past few months, and I never got them anything, and I know that they love my journals, and so I thought, you know what? It's been a couple years since I made them one, so I'm going to make them one. So, um, but I, I like sharing the flip-throughs here because um, I just feel like it gives you ideas. I love watching flip-throughs, and I just like getting, you know, you can get so much inspiration by watching a journal flip-through, right? So, um, this one... Is for my 14 year old niece so it is already taken this one is for my 15 year old niece and then my mom I wanted to make my mom a um, just another little prayer journal that she can write in but again I would like to flip through them you know just to give you ideas and so I can have something to look back on but these three um, are available if you're watching this and they say sold in the description box, then obviously they have sold. But I will um, have them posted as well over on Instagram. And honestly, I post over there while I'm working. So if I would love for you to follow me over there. And you're always welcome to claim a journal before it's finished and just say, hey, I would love that when it's done. You know, that's fine. And so I will put that link below. Um, if they don't sell right away on Instagram or from this YouTube video, I will have them listed over on the Maker's Market. Um, I will have that link below to the District app as well as a $5 off um, coupon for the Maker's Market. So, yeah, I just, um, I will mention that real quick. The Maker's Market is another avenue if... Maybe you don't really want to sell on Etsy or maybe your Instagram you're not selling that well on. Um, it's just another sales platform that Angela over at the Traveling Crafter started. And um, you can sell new, old, just craft supplies, um, fabrics, journals, handmade items. It could be chapstick, lotions. It's just a whole sales avenue, if you will, that... You can do like little pop-up live videos, um, just all kinds of fun things. So I will link all of the information to all these things in the description box below. So getting into these, um, I will go ahead and do these three today. So this one, y'all, I wanted to do some journals for all price points. I have a lot of people who message me or email me and they're, they're like how how much is that and you know if you if you buy a lot of journals you know they can range from i don't know usually i would say from fifty dollars to three hundred dollars most people for most people it just depends so i know my handmade memory albums like the larger thicker more you know for more for i mean you can use them obviously as junk journals but bigger than these one signature ones they're usually from 75 on to 250. And then, I'm just saying this because I feel like nobody says this, you know, <laughs> and we all wonder, you know, but like, then like, you know, soft cover journals that are a little quicker to make. I know these can take just as much time. You can make a tiny journal that takes just as much time. 
if you put all the little, you know, details into it. But for the most part, my writing journals, I like to keep mine kind of blank if they're a writing journal. So they can be a more, you know, affordable price point. But anyways, I have people message me and, you know, most of my journals, you know, they, the writing ones, they are um, usually 89 to 125. Sometimes I will have them priced around 65. But there are people that's like, okay, well, thank you, you know, and I'll notice they're not really a cr creator or they don't, you know, maybe they're just a stay-at-home mom with kids and they don't craft at all. They just would like a prayer journal. And in that case, I just, you know, I'm always like, I'm, I really want to make things that are at affordable price points for everyone. I'm always happy to do like a railway plan and you, you know, pay the journal in payments until it's paid off and I'll ship it to you. I'm happy to do that. I just want people to be able, I don't want everyone, a mom to be like, I would love that, but I'll never, you know, be able to just spare the extra cash to buy a hundred dollar book, right? So I wanted to make a couple that are just super affordable. And with all of my journals, I love putting in like just all the fun things so that you can play in when you get home, even the ones that are more decorated. But I wanted to keep this one super blank so it can be extremely, you know, affordable. If someone, you know, just maybe has 25, 30 bucks and that's all. So that is this one. So it is, I made it out of an altered, um, so I altered a, a large envelope. Made a little pocket back here. I I know I probably should have covered this and made it all cute, but I felt like it just added to the aesthetic to let you see it was literally made from junk, you know? And I did put a mix of fun papers in here, but mostly, you know, blank, so you can write. But I, again, it will include all the fun things so you can go and just create and you know, make it your own. I um, appreciate these charm dangles so much. My friend Lynette has sent me these in some happy mail last fall. So I loved using those on these journals, some of them. And yeah, so I just used some book pages and um, this was some lavender dyed, lavender ink colored dyed paper. So again, just super blank, vellum, just a fun little cross stitch page. And again, you'll have all the little trims and things included if you wanna decorate this up however you want to. This was from a Granny Chic book. I thought the little camper was super cute for this season. And I feel like it'll bulk up, you know, obviously you couldn't put like ruffles way on out on the edge in this one, but you could put trims, just glue them down the edge. And like I said, it has room to get super chunky. So there is this one. And then this one is for my 14 year old niece. Got these super cute silicone, um, Bead dangles, I guess you would call it beads. <laughs> I don't know what you call it. <laughs> From Hobby Lobby, these little smiley faces. I mean, I feel like, it, you know, there's a fine line between, oh, it's just too kidsy or it's just fun because we love stuff like this, right? But I've, I just feel like sometimes you have to get past a certain age before you're thinking this is okay again to have all these little baby things. But I feel like her personality just, she'll love it. So I use some fun trims some of these trims are from boho tree some of them are from selena and more fabrics um i had purchased most of the trims my friend arlene had sent me and it was from those shops but i had purchased several packs a few years ago from selena of just bohemian textiles and so some of you'll see a lot of those throughout these journals um, my niece leads worship so uh Put a little music page back there and then stamped that on the front. Stamped a little owl. That little owl is so cute. I did a lot of just Bible verse stamping throughout this one. She 
She loves yellow and sunflowers and she's just a bright, happy, <laughs> happy little thing. Here's a um, little um, crochet page. It says summer sunshine. Just filled it up full of fun tickets and little labels. A Granny Chic book page. I just stamped these bags and filled them up with some fun things. Um, I stamped these index cards with little coffee stamps. Wait, this one wasn't supposed, hers was supposed to have a little frappe in here, but somehow this one, <laughs> I probably got the nieces confused, but anyways, this was a cup of coffee. It says, wake up, smile, and tell yourself today is my day. And then I found these Bible verse cards at um, TJ Maxx. These would be so cute to alter and put like coffee dyed paper on the back, but I just left it blank. Super pretty. Little, oh, I love that. It's like got the little um, Swiss dots. These fun envelopes I'd gotten at an estate sale. I think these are actually made out of a rice paper is what they feel like. Yeah, so again, I just left this to where she can use it for several months to come. And then stamp these little guest checks and put another little prayer card back here. So there is that one. And then I'll go ahead and share this one instead of the mushroom one today because the mushroom one is more just more nature. Y'all, I can't talk. <laughs> this one is more like nature inspired and I didn't put Bible verses and things inside of this. This one I did. So I'll go ahead and share it since the other two are, more, are journals like that. So I stamped where you go, I will go, and where you stay, I will stay. Ruth 116, and then just use all of the fun pieces of fabric. Lynette also made me this boho bead. And obviously this one will be at a little, you know, different price point, but I just love offering a, a range so this is out of a Gwen Frostic nature book. I did stamping throughout this one. Granny Chic book page. Avocado dyed paper. That's some fun paper that um, Carla had sent me in some friend mail. I just stitched a fun um, vintage card here and made a little a little pocket put this index card here this fun little index card not index card guest check Love this Granny Chic book page. This was actually printable from Johanna that I printed off a few years ago. I just had a piece. You know what I did with these journals? I just grabbed all the things that was kind of hanging around my desk. And that was my goal with these journals. See, I've already forgotten. It's been a while. I mean, obviously I made it match, but... I altered these fun little envelopes on a video. Another beautiful bead dangle. I altered these super fun um, time cards with napkins as well. And there's the back of that one. So again, I will have all of my links below and I hope you'll subscribe to my channel, leave a comment below, like this video, um, just stay tuned and I will share the other 
three in the next one. Y'all have a great day. Bye.